Hello guys, good evening to everyone. Good evening, teacher. Thank you for the ones that are already here and for being punctual. Uh, I hope the other ones are going to be connecting, you know, throughout the session as usual. Good evening. Hey, mm -hmm. good evening. All right, so uh, today, as usual, we're going to have a little practice before we start or we move on with the last part of the non clauses that we couldn't finish yesterday. But of course, I'm just going to wait like one or two minutes for the other ones to connect because I know sometimes it's it takes a while to get connected through Zoom. But meanwhile, I will give you guys a little bit of, you know, like a clue of what we're going to be doing today. Today, uh, well, first of all, I need you all guys to have a pen, paper, or if you're using your phone, use your phone. Or if you're not at home or you're driving or something, let me know before we start the practice. Because today I want everyone to participate. Yesterday, I was checking like um, only one people was able to follow the instructions. Then the others I received on the chat. Mm, it was not that good, but at least uh, you try. That's a good thing. So, um, well, I don't know if the other ones are going to connect today. I hope so. Today is going to be our last day of this week. Because remember, we only have... From, yeah, that's good. <laughs> we only have classes from Monday through Thursday. And we have no class tomorrow until next week. So, I see more people connecting. Uh, well, that's good. Well, welcome to the ones that just connected. Uh, good evening to every one of you. Uh, well, as I was saying, guys, today we're going to have a practice as well. So if you are at home, I need you guys to have pen, uh, paper, or any book or whatever you use or a pencil. So we're going to have a practice regarding to what we saw yesterday. Yesterday, we saw things related to noun clauses. As you remember, we saw noun clauses functioning as subject, noun clauses functioning as direct object, and noun clauses functioning as indirect object. So today we're going to do the last part, but uh, we're going to go with these, you know, with these exercises first. So um, I see more people connecting. So we're probably going to wait like one more minute. So uh, meanwhile, let me just write down the exercises on the chat so you can know what we're going to be doing. So let's see, we're going to have five. So this is what we're going to do, guys. I will, I will drop a chat here on a call with five sentences, okay? Here you have them, five sentences. What are we going to do? Easy. First of all, I need you to, uh, you know, underline or identify the noun clause. Then, Below or next to that, I don't know, whatever you're working or the way you want to do it, I need you to write down the function if there is function or it is functioning as subject or it is functioning as direct object and if it is functioning as indirect object, either or. The last part is going to be for the number one and the number two, I need you to also write down the question that is going to give you the answer to that, to find that out. Okay? Understood. 
everyone understood what I said? I need confirmation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Repeat. Okay, so if you can go to the chat of the meeting, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, probably that if you just connected, probably not. Can you see something on the chat? Can you confirm that you can see something on the chat, Nadia? The other side, I know for sure that you that you see it, but I don't know for her. Well. Yes, teacher. I see the chat and the and the Zoom. But can you see the five sentences? Yes, in my case, yes. Okay, perfect. So uh, we have the five sentences there and let me repeat the instructions. Number one, underline the noun clause. Number two, write down whether it is functioning as a subject, direct object, or indirect object. N number three, for sentence number one and number two, I need you to also write down the question that help you identify the noun clause. Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, so there you have. In the number, number, you say in the number three, uh, we need to find the, the question, uh, the no. W question. No, just the number one and number two, you need to write down the question that will help you to, or that helped you to find out the noun clause. Two, two. Are the instructions clear? I don't want anyone to be confused. Did you understand the instructions, guys? Did Teacher, have... yeah. please, could you repeat, please? Okay, so we have five, five sentences. What I need you to do, number one, identify or underline the noun clause. Number two, write next to it or below, I don't know, but whatever the way you want to do it, write the function. If it is functioning as subject, if it is functioning as a direct object, or if it is functioning as indirect object. Then only for sentence number one and number two, I need you to also write down the question that help you to identify the noun clause. You have exactly, at this moment, eight minutes to complete it. Eight minutes. So at 8.15, we close it, and you will need to send me a proof through the WhatsApp chat or the WhatsApp group, okay? So we are on the call, 15 including me, so it means that you are 14. I will have to receive 14. Okay, 14 photos or 14, I don't know. Uh, let's see, I see someone else just connected. I don't know who that was. Okay, teacher. Teacher, teacher. Yeah. Can you repeat the instruction of the four and five? Four and five, there's no instruction for that. And that one, you just okay. have to identify the... um the noun clause that's the only and thing you have to do only identify okay that's that's okay now what i need you to do on those write down below if it is functioning as what direct object it, it is functioning oh, as a subject or direct i need you to also write that down okay, mm -hmm. okay. thanks okay You only have six more minutes. Remember, at 8.15, you will need to send it through the WhatsApp group. Eight 
and please i need you to be honest guys this is the 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 best part or the part that i want you to be really honest about i don't want you to go through google or something like that no don't do that why you're lying to yourself that's it you're lying to yourself so you don't know what we're talking about you don't know what we're doing if you go to google that means that you do not know what we're doing right now. So be honest and do it only with what you remember about the class. If you remember nothing, okay, don't do it then. So we will understand that you didn't, didn't understand, actually. But don't go to Google. Good evening. Good evening. Yes? I'm sorry. I'm still in the, in the meeting. So can you send it again? The, I don't know if it's a, a form, an exam, or oh, it's uh, it's it's on the on the chat. Let me resend it. There are five sentences, oh, five sentences in which I needed to identify the noun clause, and then okay. you have to write the function. It is functioning as okay. subject direct object or indirect object. I just need you to find that out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, you're very welcome. Okay, we just got three more minutes and I will give Debbie a little bit more of time just for her because she just asked about it. But then the rest we got until 8.15. I repeat once again, don't go to Google, please. Honesty, okay? If you don't know, you don't know. But if you know, you know. If you already finished, you can you can already send the, the you know, the screenshot or the photo uh, to the WhatsApp group. Oh, we're missing a lot of people today. Okay, two minutes. Peter, can you send more time, a few minutes? Mm, I can't. I wish I could, but I can't. Uh, let me tell you why. Because remember, we just have one hour. And one hour sometimes is not enough for us to complete what we have to do. If you didn't complete it, that's okay. Send. Uh, you just have to send whatever you have and just send it. That's, that's it. I just want to really verify if we are really understanding what we're doing in here. That's pretty much what I want to see. For the next time, for uh, whether or when we have an exam, of course, I will try to give you more time. But now it's like more like a practice, let's say. Okay, time's up. Whatever you have, please go ahead, take a screenshot or take a photo and send it through the WhatsApp group. Except you, Richard, because I saw, uh, well, that you just connected. So that's okay. 
See, I, I'm sorry, teacher, because I, I have a lot of work today. It's hard for me. Sorry, teacher. That's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. I completely understand that situation. Then for the rest, I'm expecting you guys, well, I'm expecting to receive right now some of your, or, or something, whatever you have done. Okay, we passed one minute already. What's going on? It's only one photo or one screenshot. It's really easy. You just take it and send it. That's it. Okay, uh, got the arriving. Thank you. So we are going to say the only arriving, oh, I got Patricia already. I don't know who Patricia is, but I got here someone named Patricia. Oh, Patricia Rodriguez, yeah, I can see you in here, okay. So the, this will count as your attendance. So it means that I, don't, I only have two students in today's class. Well, three actually. I have Jenny already. I have Daisy, okay. I have four students on the class today. Then the rest, I don't know. You were not here. I got JVR, I don't know who you are. Who are you, JVR? Oh, okay, Javier, okay. All right. Okay. Then the others are a silly. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. When you are making the TOEFL or the TOEIC, mm -hmm. these kind of things are important to know. Yes. Sorry to say it, but yes. <laughs> because uh, to be honest, uh, I don't understand. Well, we we speak uh, fluently, and Americans da, uh, do the same, and we don't take. Uh, we we are not thinking about how it is in the indirect or direct yeah. uh, object, and I don't know. Uh, well, I'm sorry, teacher, but I don't. I don't feel that. This is important for me. Yeah, I completely <laughs> understand. I get you. I get you. Uh, I have always asked myself, like, why? Like, why do it, like, take that in that exam? Like, or to get a certification. But remember that um, in this case, because we're not natives of the language, and if we want to get a certification or something like that, uh, we will have four micro skills that we will have, you know, to accomplish, let's say. And this one, first one, listening, speaking. Because, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because it feels that uh, I'm starting to be a teacher and I just need to speak and, and communicate with others. Yeah, I completely understand that. Yeah, that's, that's something that... It's completely understandable. I've been there. I know I have asked the same thing. Like when I was learning the language, I was like, oh, is this really necessary? Are we going to go through the same thing? It's like, do do I really need this? I was like uh, asking myself like the same thing. Is it real? This is really necessary. But there's no, we cannot really avoid it. Why? Because if you're going to get a certification like in English, you have to know it. Unfortunately, you have to. Even though, as what you said, I mean, it's like it's for sure like 100% real. When you're speaking with an American, 
you're not saying, okay, wait a minute, I'm going to talk to you like indirect object right now. <laughs> you're not saying that. You're not doing that at all. You're only speaking, you're only communicating, and that's that's the only thing that you're doing. <laughs> but unfortunately, we have to go through this. There's no any other way. We have to. So um, what I really recommend you is like, if you're planning actually just to to learn the language just because you want to communicate, okay, it's good to learn and it's good to know, let's say, not really get, in, get it into your mind because you're not going to be a teacher later on. So you, you don't have to really remember like the structure and everything. But if you are that type of person that learns by memorizing structures, because remember, everyone is completely different. In your case, or I've been probably you're learning or the way you learn is by, you know, speaking, by saying something, by listening to someone or watching different type of things. But there's probably someone who is learning by memorizing things. So sometimes that's why it's a little bit difficult. But, you know, uh, we tried we will try to to do here. That's why I don't like like my classes to be like like just, you know, like doing things, trying to change things every single day, trying to make you participate. Because my point is like, while you're doing or while we're, you know, in the class watching some grammatical structure and things like that, we are at the same time participating in expressing ourselves in the language because at the end of the day, we just want to communicate, right? Or if you want to get a job at the end, you will use it just because you want to communicate in that job with certain people or people that are native of the of the language. But I completely understand you, Ivan. Don't get frustrated. I've been there. You will go through that. I know if I did it, you will do it. I'm 100% sure of that. And you're a smart guy, so be proud of what you're doing. Okay, so let me let me see. We got oh well, I just got. Let's say according to this, the attendance of today is only going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. Then the rest of you were not in the class. Why? Because I didn't get your uh, your pictures. Nothing at all. So uh, that's what I'm, oh, I got someone right here, Debbie, okay. All right, so the others I really don't know, okay? I don't know if you really didn't understand or if you're here or if you're not, or if you're only connected but you're doing something else, that's up to you, okay? So I completely understand that probably some of you are working, but if you are working or either, or if you're going home or something, let me know. So we are completely understandable here. We are people. We understand we're not robots. We're humans. We're working. We're doing a lot of things at the same time. You know what I mean? So I completely understand. I'm not, I'm not a tough teacher. I'm a very friendly and easygoing teacher, so... It's okay for me. All right. So uh, we're going to continue with what we left yesterday. Remember that we were going to see the function of as an object of the preposition. And I'm expecting in the last 15 minutes, guys, we are going to have like a practice in conversation. So it will be the time for you to shine today. Okay. So I can still see like last time we were on the... Uh, workout rooms, I saw people, well, I heard people speaking in Spanish. So that's not what we're here. Even though if you don't know, like, oh, what just happened? I know, can you see the screen? Yes, now, yes, teacher. I uh, say, I saw functional objects. Okay, good. That's good. All right, so it's either... No, I don't think it's the internet. That's a high-speed one. So it, it's probably my computer, though. Okay, so uh, while it's charging, we're going to go to this, which is the function as an object of the preposition. Now, let me ask you, do you know what a preposition is? Or how many prepositions do you know? 
like the most common ones. Let's not go like deeper, like the most common ones or the ones that you remember, like. Place. Place, preposition of place. Okay, can you tell me one? Or... Place, like a place, where? Where is that? <laughs> There are preposition of time, of, of time. places, mm -hmm. of, uh, well, I remember in Spanish, but it, in English, uh, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, but I mean, it's like we have uh, of, we have by as examples, we have to, that's also a preposition, and uh, well, here we have some of them, but okay. So I will need someone participations here to help me reading this first part. You know what? Uh, I will decide now because I see some people. I can help you, teacher. And I say me. Okay, so uh, Philomena. Go ahead. <laughs> go first and then we have arriving, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thanks, arriving. All our time. Now, close it. Can, okay. add, can add that the object of the preposition in the independent clause. For Clo example, close. close. No, close, no, no. Close. 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 Exactly. Close. Yeah. Okay. In the independent clause. Mm -hmm. For example, I like to keep a scholarship. Schedule. Schedule. No. Schedule. No. No. Schedule. Schedules. Mm. No. Okay, we we have uh that's gonna be the homework for you the whole weekend. No. <laughs> Try to to listen to the pronunciation and on Monday is gonna be the first thing that no. I'm going to ask. You. Okay. Schedules. No. Schedule. <laughs> Schedules. Schedule. Schedules. Well. That's a homework. Keep <laughs> going. Of when I have upcoming appointments. Appointments. Okay. Now let's go That's with our Arabian. For me, teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go with you, Arabian. Thank you. So the sentence above the noun clause when I when I when I have a coming appointments is acting as the object of the preposition of. Okay, now, can someone tell me how can we make a sentence to find out this noun clause? Think about it. How can we make a sentence? I mean, a question. My bad. How can we create a question to find that out? To find the noun clause? Think about it. Think about it like one minute. We can use the same words like a what and who. Yeah, so how can can you tell me the, the question? What would it be? Maybe I could what? So what what did you say, Debbie? A schedule of what? Schedule of what? You're pretty close. We, 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 of course, we need to use the preposition in the question. But remember, we need to use all of it, like all of this. You're maybe, pretty close. Maybe it can be, I would like to know, but what? Teacher, maybe Mm. Maybe when do I like to keep a schedule? Okay, you're using when. Do you remember which are the WH questions that will help you to find out or to identify a noun clause? We only have two, and when is not what part of that. What and who? What and who? What and who? Now, so with that being said, how will we create a question or what will the question be? Mm -hmm. 
Come on, guys, the other ones. I, I always have either a Ribin, Philomena, or sometimes I have Alejandro who are always participating. But the others, I never, or, or Debbie. Debbie, I have Richard as well, who is always participating. But then the rest of you, it's like you're always quiet. So I really don't know if you're here or not, or if you're that shy. Because remember, guys, you are in advanced level. You shouldn't be worried about speaking the language. And I'm I'm not like mad at you. No, it's it's just to uh, to remind you that we need to speak. That's why we're here. Otherwise, you will only be in the class. You will go to the next class and next class and next class, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So come on. What kind of schedule? What kind of schedule I would like to keep? That was a really good question, though. But we're still missing something there. Because you said, I would like, but we don't have I would like in here. But that was a really do good I question. Like, do, do I like to give? <laughs> that's, that's really good, though. That's You're really close, like 90% close. Keep on going. Well, if no one is going to say it, so I will say it. So we have, I like to keep a schedule of. What do I like to keep a schedule of? ¿De qué necesito guardar o saber? O de qué me gustaría, o qué horario me gustaría guardar? ¿De qué horario? The when I have an a coming up uh, appointment. You see? So it was not difficult. It's just we need to, you know, sometimes it's difficult to to formulate the question probably. But now, in this one, it's very easy to identify it. Why? Because when a noun clause is functioning as object of the preposition, we will easily identify it. First, because before the noun clause, we will always always have what a preposition that's Teacher, it yeah um, could you write the sentence please yeah let me just give me just a moment so yanira i heard that you're saying t-shirt so i heard t-shirt i mean i understood what you were you were you were trying to ask mm -hmm. me something but remember the difference between t-shirt and teacher teacher T-shirt. So we we have to keep a uh, like you know like like something in there. So let me just write it down. What do I like to keep? Oh sorry. Oh Jesus. I'd schedule. Schedule off. Oh I I always forget to change my keyboard to English. But then we have a squash mark at the end, just for you to know. That's the question. All right. So um, any questions so far? I guess I guess it's it's really clear clear, right? It is there any questions so far? So far so good. Everything is clear. Okay. Okay, perfect. So if everything is clear, we're going to go to a little practice right now. And let me just write this one in here. And let me stop sharing here. Now, we're going to go to this. To this practice regarding two. Okay. So we're going to be working on groups. And let me see. Okay. Can everyone see it? We have here five. Okay. The uh, five noun clauses. It's very easy. The first part that you're going to do. You will only have to decide of either one of these three words in blue. 
and then you know identify which one fits better then for the first three i need you guys to also identify the function of each one of them and also to write what is the question that help you to identify it are we clear on that Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so take a screenshot yes, or whatever you're doing or if you're using your phone or take a photo of the screen if you're using a computer or something and let me know once you're ready so I can go ahead and create the groups. Well, I hope everyone is ready. Are we ready? Well, I saw someone send it through the WhatsApp group so you can all have access to that. All right, so let me go ahead and create the groups. And uh, I will request you guys to speak in English. Please, if you do not know how to say something, ask your classmate. Probably your classmate know more vocabulary than you. We always can learn from each other. We don't have to be selfish in here. We are all on the same path, so we all want to learn the language, so we all have to help each other, okay? So, uh, wow, I saw that someone just disconnected. Oh, my God. Well, okay. So, let's go ahead, please. Let's go ahead, guys. Debbie, what happened? Are you having any situation trying to get okay? For me, it's that. <clears throat> I can hear. I can hear you. For me, it's that. That. And and the and the order is okay for that. And then, and the number less getting on. Como es que al menos llega. Entonces yo siento que es how. I think for me it's how. I don't know if you or another, if you have another idea. I cannot find the 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 sense of the sentence. Um, pongámosle que tenés un amigo que llega tarde al trabajo, pero o sea llega puntual al trabajo, pero llega. 
Es que a menudo, no, o sea, a menudo me pregunto ¿Por qué? No, pero es que ¿Cómo? Is she unless getting on? Ajá. Esa is unless él, al, él está al menos levantándose Getting on, no Getting on puede ser también llegar a un sitio. Maybe oh. subiendo. Al menos, sí. I often wonder. Yeah. Wonder. How is he unless getting how, on? How he is yeah. unless getting on? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I think it's how. The right, the right one. The others are easier. What? 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 Okay. What? And the number two, I want to know mm. what mm. or why. Why? In why? my case, I think it is why. Why she is my angry case, with yeah. me? Yes, it's why. It's what? Why? In the number three. Uh, if, he asked me if, if in the case I if, know, yeah, if, yes. if I knew, if I knew, if I knew his name, yeah. Mm. And the, and the number four, she said. What do you think the if, others? No, for me it's good the answer number three is yeah. oh, it is not for me the question. Sorry. Sonia. Uh, uh, what is the let me see. Let me see. If you want, we uh, you can uh, you can search the answer for the number four. She said that I, I read the number four. Yes, please. And the number four, she say uh, ah. that she will Seven. not come. That she will not come. That she, she in, I, in my opinion, is that that she will not that come. She, not come. she said.
Okay, so I see that the majority of you are already here. So let's see. Um, uh, Wilbur, what do we have, Wilbur, or what is the answer for number one? Uh, who? Who for number one? That's not even on the options. Yeah, I mean, how? 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 Oh, how? Okay. How? Oh, very good. And and what is what is going to be in this case? So, of course, what is the function of this one? Is functioning as what? Direct object. Direct uh, object. Are you sure? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Okay, but I hope everyone like work. Teacher, excuse me. Yes, go is, ahead. Uh, which is the right pronunciation of that word? Direct or direct? Both. Both. Why? Because in the south part of the United States, well, at least for Americans, they pronounce it. Some of them say direct. Feel <laughs> like in the north part of United States, they say direct. So both okay. of them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. All right, now we're going to go to the last practice, guys. In this one, I need you all guys to participate. This is going to be about speaking. So I need you guys to, uh, you know, to start speaking about either job, either, you know, like uh, sports or either language or whatever comes to your mind i need you to have a conversation between your group and i will be there supervising whatever you're doing and i will be taking notes of the mispronunciations i will be listening to for example i have two that when i was going through the groups i heard someone is saying how do we say dijo in the past Sed. Sed, like like in Spanish, like como que tenemos sed. We say sed. I heard when I was going in the groups, I heard someone was saying said. Okay. No, we don't say that. We When it is in present, of course, we say say. When it is in past, we say said, okay? Another one, uh, I heard that would, like W-O-U-L-D. Someone say would. So we say would, would, would. We had to remember those pronunciations. So uh, I will recreate the groups once again, and I will need you to start speaking, every one of you, and I will be checking if you mispronunciate something. At the end of the class, I will let you know all the mispronunciations I have heard, okay? So let's go back to the groups once again. Swimming. Uh-huh. <clears throat> and what happened? Why right now no more? Um, I'm sorry, Alejandro. I can hear you hear you very well. Can you repeat? Yes, what what happened? Why uh you don't continue? You didn't continue. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't have a, a pool. I don't have a pool. Oh, okay. It's okay. Um, anything else? And, and time. And I don't have time to practice to my sport, my favorite sport. Because you, because you, 
difference between this difference between a direct and indirect object. So this weekend I will study about it. And I don't know, what about you? Did you understand that? <laughs> Me too. I I need to study <laughs> too much because uh, for me it's very difficult to understand this topic. <laughs> but I I will be to study study in in the in the weekend. Okay. The world women's world. What? Sorry, I couldn't understand you. So, so who will win the women's World Cup? What? I don't understand, Daisy. Sorry. Can you... <laughs> it's the other topic. Who will win the women's World Cup? World Cup. Who will? Uh, let me. Let me. Uh... Will win. Who will win the woman? What? Women's World Cup. World Cup. The World Cup. Cup. Oh. Like exercising. Workout. Is the question? Is the question? I so think she means World Cup. World. World, World Cup. Cup. Ah, yeah. who do we think that will win the World Cup? Ah. Oh. I don't know. I I don't like soccer, and I'm I don't used to watch, uh, uh, partidos, teacher. Okay. Matches. I don't used to watch, uh, football on TV, and I don't know who is playing and against who. I don't know, we uh, which countries are are. Uh, if I am like uh, in the middle of the <laughs> of the feeling, I like uh, to listen um music, the all music, um something like that. I prefer romantic music. Yes. It is a good um, option because you can you can improve your your English. Why so quiet? Uh, uh, because we'll be we'll be maybe can. Maybe want to speak. I don't know. But I listen only a singer, an alien singer. Have trips to to climb San Jacinto. San Jacinto really? mountain. Mo San Jacinto hills. Hill, I suppose. Okay. Oh, oh. It's, it's not the, the practice, the, the hiking, because me too, and the different volcan. The months ago, oh. at the, the... One month ago. Uh, oh. uh, the Santana. Gua. So then no, just, no. then just add the what do. Mm. Just add it for the question. What do I want to know? What do I want to know? This is for the second one. So, so, so then uh, just add what to do for the question.
Okay. Hi, okay, so, well, I got some words in here that I would like to share when we have everyone, when everyone joins. Let's see, we still have some people in the groups. Okay, let's just wait. For example, Alejandro, how do you say montaña? Mountain, mountain or climb? Mountain, no, no more. We say mountain, 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 like the mountain. mountain. Okay, no mountain, no, that's no mountain. No, another one. I heard iris. Como decimos volcán iris? Volcan? No, we don't say volcan. We say volcano. Volcano. A volcano, okay. Another one, Jenny. I heard that you say I need to study too much. Necesito estudiar demasiado. Is that what you want? Is that what you wanted to say? Or necesito estudiar más. Más. <laughs> so we don't say too much. We say I need to study more. More. I need to study more. Then. <laughs> Arriving when you said, well, is arriving here? Yeah, he is in here. Okay, when you said, uh, I don't used to watch, what were you trying to say? No suelo ver is that what? Oh, looks like you're speaking, but you have your microphone off. Uh, sorry, the, the whole sentence was, I don't used to watch uh, football matches on TV, but. I don't use, yo no uso. I don't use to, no suelo. So then you don't have to say don't. You have to say I'm not, the verb to be I am not used to. But or, the, uh, uh, go ahead. Como, how can I say no suelo ver partidos de fútbol en TV, eh, en, en televisión? Okay, that term does not really exist in, 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 in like in English. That's why we use I'm not used to. Because then used to is like for past. Like I didn't solía or suel. Like we have in Spanish, like suelo. Well, like in Spanish, we say, ah, yo no suelo ver tal cosa, but in Spanish. So when you want to refer to something that you are not really used to, you are going to say I'm not using the verb to be, even though we know that if we say I'm not used to, it will change a little bit like the meaning. You know what I mean? Or or did I well, get or did I get you confused? It doesn't exist used to in in no, present? I mean no, I it, it it exists. I used to, but like used how how can I it's like, I don't want you to get confused, like, right now. But if you use, used to, you, usted está diciendo, solía hacerlo. No, but I did it in, players, in present. I used to. I didn't say I used to. So, uh, yeah, I completely, <laughs> I see some faces like right now, what he's talking about, like, but, but yeah, I completely understand. What I'm trying to, to explain to you is that, yes, even though it sounds, I remember that some things we cannot literally translate them from Spanish to English. So we have to kind of adapt them to the language. So I, I completely understand, like, if you say, I don't used to watch, I will understand you, but that's that's not proper English, let's say. That's language, like, informal English. You know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, help me, teacher. How can I say that same sentence, but using the right... Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's what I was telling you. Like, I'm not used to watch. No, no estoy acostumbrado a ver. Oh. Yeah, that's, I'm not used to watch matches, but don't say I don't use, because if you say I don't use, you're not saying what you think you're saying, you're saying no uso. 
So we got to oh, okay. be a little bit careful in there. I completely understand what you, your idea, but I just wanted you to like to clarify that. Right. Jesus, what was that? <laughs> that got, got us all scared. That, that was a lot of noise. But okay, uh, hope you understood my idea. Yes, thank you, teacher. Yeah, so that's something that will help you not to make this like very little mistake. But then the rest, I see some of you are ghosts. Ghost completely here. You're here, but you're never participating. You're there, but you're never saying anything. It's like you're a ghost. You're here, but you're not here at the same time. So uh, sorry that I took six minutes uh, of the time. Sorry about that, but I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy, like rest, Here, take care of yourselves. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go I ahead. would like you to send the... To send what? Oh, we lost you. I don't know if you're saying something, probably your internet connection. Oh, I, we lost her. Wow. But anyway, uh, you can let me know in the WhatsApp group if you're listening to me. I cannot listen to you. I don't know if you're saying something or not. Looks like you are. Or it might be your microphone or something. Teacher, just one last thing before you go. Mm -hmm. uh, can you help me with the meaning of the with the meaning in Spanish of the first sentence? Because I oh, couldn't that, understand. That was that was there was one extra word in there which was unless that shouldn't be there. So uh oh, that's why. Yeah, that shouldn't be there, and that was my mistake. I mistyped it. I was working some something else, and I just noticed when I when you had already like when I was checking the WhatsApp group, I noticed that the word "unless" was in there. It shouldn't be there, but but uh, hope that makes a little difference in there. Okay, we'll see thank that. you, teacher. Alrighty, so thank you all guys for being here the whole week and obviously for participating, the ones that are always participating. Believe me, I'm always taking that into consideration because I see that some of you are always active and, you know, participating in there and always there. So thank you very much for that. Enjoy your weekend, guys, the one that have that have vacation on the weekends. If you if you do, enjoy it. If you have to work, I'm sorry, but that's life. So we have to to keep on moving, and that's what we have. It's it is what it is. Okay, so I hope you enjoy your weekend. Take care of yourselves, and see you guys all on Monday. Have a good day and good night. Thank you, Bye. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye guys. Bye.